Good morning, good evening, afternoon, wherever you are. So today we're going to talk about the rules of investing. Now, if you don't have $400 saved, you shouldn't be watching this video. Doesn't matter if you have $1,000, that's good, then we can save it. But you're not going to use the whole thousand, you're going to use 600. Why? Because you need $400 for emergencies. And if you tie up money in an investment, it's going to take time to get it out. So I don't care. You need, and to watch this video, and to follow these rules, and to breathe, you're going to need $400 saved that you can usually get to in a savings account. I don't care that the interest rate is 0 0.05. I don't care if the $400 is under your mattress. You need accessible $400 in case of emergency, or you should be crying that you have $1,000 in an investment, and it's going to take you three days to get it, and your tie is flat, and you got no cash until you get paid on Friday. Happened. Happened to me. Happened to me many occasions. That is why, before you follow the rules of investing, you must have $400 saved, because there has to be a goal, has to be a number, can't lose weight unless you set a goal, can't put a dress size unless you set a goal, can't put a house or a date unless you set a goal, gotta be a goal. Goal is $400 for emergency fund and a savings account that you can drive down to an ATM machine and take out $200, $100, $50, or all $400 if you need it. That's the goal. That's the rule. Have a nice day. You also must have all your debt paid off. All your debt is everything but a mortgage. Mortgage gives you a ridiculous tax advantage. It's the only debt that gives you an advantage at the end of the year. That is the positivity. Credit cards, if you're paying 10% and you are making an investment and gain back 15, you're only up five. You're losing 10 every month. You gain 15, 10 minus 15, that's only five positive. You not winning that way. You gaining. Remember, I made a big deal about 1% in one of my videos. Putting 100 in and getting 101 at the end of the day. Fantastic. You're winning. You're gaining a buck. Guess what? You're not getting anything if you're cutting your own rope. You're making your rope shorter as you're trying to climb up. Makes no sense. Okay, so the rules of investing as follows, as long as you follow those two things. No debt, $400 saved. If you need to know how $400 saved, a lot of books to tell you, a lot of apps to tell you. Simplest way I know how to do it, not cutting back on your cappuccinos or frittinos or whatever it is. Do roundups and stash, roundups and acorns, do rounds up by a penny and paper. You pay $5.99 for something, you take that penny, you put it away. Eventually, you get to $400. You cut out a cappuccino one a day, fine. That's five bucks in the savings. Five bucks at the end of the uh, at the end of 20 weeks, hundred bucks. You're one fourth of the way there. That's it. Double your minimum payment on your credit cards. That puts you a lot closer than you think. And it helps a lot closer than you think. Rules are rules. Rules work. Follow the steps. Every budget works. Every diet works. Every plan works. It's just a matter of whether or not you can follow it. And if you can follow it, you're winning. Every system works. But you got to apply it. You got to do it. Okay, rules of investing. You take your age, you minus 100. If you are 25, you minus 100. Simple, right? Everything I do is simple. $25 goes into bonds 
or to a bank account or to a certified CD. Something safe, something accessible, might get a penalty, but you get some interest back. Rest, stocks or ETFs or high risk investments. Now, what stocks do you pick? Very simple. Anything you use or you understand. You buy Coca-Cola every day. You buy stock in Coca-Cola. You take your $20 every week that you're able to save. You got 25%. Five goes into the high yield savings until there's enough for a CD or a savings bond. The other, the other 15 bucks, you buy Coca-Cola. You drink Coca-Cola. You understand Coca-Cola. Good deal. You're already there. You got 15 in your saving. Well, where can I just buy $15 of Coca-Cola? Stash, Robin Hood. How many places do you want me to name? Charles Schwab even does factual affairs. M1. How do I sign up for it? I got the links right on my Twitter. Risky6877. You can even automate it. That's it. That's the rules of investing. Buy what you know, buy what you understand, subtract your age, follow the method, process, stick to your budget. I don't make anything complicated. You can do this. A lot of people do this. You ever wonder how the old man dies that worked as a janitor at the college for, for 30 years, leaves 100,000? He didn't buy that many lattes. He didn't buy that many pants. He buys what he needed and put the rest away. Not complicated. Didn't spend more than he needed. I'm not saying he probably didn't take a trip or two. He probably did. Didn't tell anybody. Disappeared for two weeks. Told everybody he went to the Bahamas and nobody believed him. He had a hundred grand in the bank that he bequeathed to the college. He had it. If he can do it, you can do it. And you know their stories are already out there. They always come up. Believe in yourself. I believe in you. Follow the method. Get my book, Missing Treasure, by Chris Alexinas, A-L-E-X-I-N-A-S. Play Atlas Earth, the only game that I know that actually gives you money back, and it works. It's a very good strategy. And also, my link is there too. Risky6877. Have a great day.